Hello my dear students today we are going to study division non restoring method in the subject computer organization and architecture my name is himanshu choudhary department computer science and engineering kite group of institution now let's get started with our topic so the prerequisites are already discussed in the video of restore division method that you must have already seen before going through this video now the prerequisites are shifting of left bits addition subtraction and twos complement these all we have discussed in our previous video next we will see the pencil pen method that is this hope you know this method that this is the way of dividing any number by any other number for your revision i am telling you that this is the dividend this is divisor and this is quotient and this will be the remainder next we will see that what are the two methods of division of unsigned binary digits as you know that this is the instructive method to follow there are two methods one is restore method and another is non restore method non restore method is in bold because in this video we are going to learn the division of unsigned binary integers by using non restore method you must have seen restore video before now this is the flow chart for the binary division of non restore method here also the instructions are already given this is the initialization and later on we have to follow these steps again i am coloring it just to make you understand with the help of table colors and the flow chart that which which steps belongs to which flow chart figure now here we will solve the question 11 divided by 3 and the question will be 3 and the remainder will be 2 this will be the flow chart which we have to follow now let's see how we will solve it now we will see the first step in n we have to place the number of bits no now convert 11 to binary and count the number of bits and that number will be placed in n now see 11 is converted to 1011 and the count is 4 that count will be n okay then next divisor has to be placed on register m so the divisor is 3 the binary digit for this is converted that is 11 but we have to write this in n plus 1 size of register so in five digits we will write 3 as 0011 then in a you have to place 0 the register size for a is 5 so in five digits we have to write 0 so this is the initialization step of this next we will check if a is smaller than 0 or greater than 0 if it is smaller than 0 we will move here if it is greater than 0 or equal to 0 we will move here so in this case a is having the value 0 it means a is not smaller than 0 so we will move here it means we have to shift left a q and subtract m from a so let's do this so left shift a q you already must know that how to do left shift so this a q register is left shifted and the resultant is here this one is here and these four zeros are here and this first zero is omitted now on the last bit we do not know what to place so we will see what to place here and the second step is a is equal to a minus m you know how we can do this we will convert m to minus m then we will add a with minus m so the value of m is 0011 that is written over here how to evaluate minus m we will write the formula m bar plus m what is m bar complement of m so this m is converted to m bar m that is 3110 then we will add 1 to it it will be 3101 this will be the value of minus m we are storing it because we have to use it again and again then we will add a to minus m so we are having the value of a that is 4 times 0 1 plus 3101 so let's do this a's values is 
4 times 0 1 and we have to add minus m that is this value triple 1 0 1 1 plus 1 is 2 and in binary it is 1 0 so it will be 1 0 0 is written here and 1 is written over here 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, so 1 is written over here. 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. So the next A value is 4 times 1, then 0. So let's see this. So the value is updated 4 times 1 and then 0. This value will be same and this, this step is over now. Next we need to move here. We will check if a is smaller than 0 or not how we can check if a is smaller than 0 simple you have to just check if the msb is 1 if it is 1 this is the negative value okay so this value is negative it means this is smaller than 0 we will move here and in this we have to place 0 at the place q0 it means at this position we have to place 0 so let's do this we wrote it okay we placed 0 here next what we need to do n is equal to n minus 1 so if it was 4 then we have to convert it into 3 we did this next step is saying we have to check if n is equal to 0 no it is not 0 we will move back to this step again we will check if a is smaller than 0 how can you check you simply check the MSB of A. If it is 1, it is smaller than 0. So, this value is smaller than 0. If it is smaller than 0, we will move here. It means we have to shift left AQ. Then A is equal to A plus M. So, we did left shift left AQ. So, all of these values are shift left by 1. This 0 will come here. Double 1, 0 will be the front. And on the last, we do not know what to place. But in this step, the next step is a is equal to a plus 1. We are having the value of a. We are having the value of m. Let's add this. Now we need to add a is equal to a plus m. a is equal to 3 times 1, double 0. And m value is triple 0, double 1. Now we need to add this. 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. So the next A value will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So let's see this. I wrote this value here. This is the updated A value. Here we do not know what to write. So let's move to next. Next we need to check if A is smaller than 0. Simple. You just need to check the a is msb if it is 1 it is smaller than 0 it is smaller than 0 we will move here on the place of q0 we need to place 0 according to this step so it's very simple we uh, we substituted 0 here next what we need to do n is equal to n minus 1 so here 3 must be converted to 2 so this conversion is done later on we will check if n is equal to 0 it is false so we'll move back to this step here again we need to check if a is smaller than 0 simple check the msb if it is 1 it is smaller than 0 now we will come here again we will shift left aq that is done over here then we will add m to a so again we need to add this value to this value so let's do this a is 1 1 1 1 1 and m is triple zero one one let's add this one plus one is two so it is written as one zero one plus one is two two plus one is three three is written as one one so we will write one here and one here one plus one is two two plus zero is two so two is written as one zero we will write one one zero so one plus one is two two plus zero is two two is written as 1 0 so 0 is here 1 is here again 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 0 is 2 and 2 is 1 plus 1 is 1 0 so 0 is written here 1 will be omitted so the answer was triple 0 1 0 it is written here this is same we were at this step 
Next we will again check if a is smaller than 0. Go to this. If it is 1, it is smaller than 0. If it is 0, it is greater than 0. So here we will need to come here. That means at Q0th position, it means at this position we need to place 1. So let's do this. So 1 is placed at this position. Next we need to subtract 1 from the last value of n. So 2 must be converted to 1. 2 is converted to 1. Next we will check if it is 0. No it is not 0. We will go back. We will check if a is smaller than 0. a is not smaller than 0 because 0 is the MSB. So we will go to this step. In this step we need to do shift left aq. Shift left aq is done. Then next we need to add a is equal to a plus minus m. Minus m value we are having already. So we will add the value of a with this value. So let's do this. a is double zero one zero one and minus m is triple one zero one. So let's add this. 1 plus 1 is 2. It is written as 1 0. 1 plus 0 plus 0 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 2. So it is written like this. 1 plus 0 plus 1 will be 2. It is written like this. 1 plus 0 plus 1 will be 1 0. But again my register is of 5 bit. This one is omitted. So the answer will be triple 0 1 0. So the answer was triple 0 1 0. It is written over here. This value is same as it was. Next we will move to next. If a is smaller than 0, we will move here. If it is greater than 0 or 0, we will move here. So the value is greater than 0. So we will move to this block. Okay. It means we need to place 1 at the place of q0. It means we need to place 1 over here. So let's do this. 1 is written over here. So the last value is this. Next, we need to subtract 1 from the last value of 1. So after subtracting 1 from 1, the answer will be 0. So the n value is 0 now. Now n value is 0, we will move further. Now we will check if a is smaller than 0. Is my a smaller than 0? No, it is greater than 0 because the MSB is 0. If it is 1, then it is smaller than 0. But now it is greater than 0. So we will stop. So we will read the value of a and q and you can see at a register we are having the value of remainder and at the value of q that is 0011 this is the question. Okay so we found the both values question and remainder by using division by non restore method. This is the way through which you can solve any question with the use of flowchart. Hope you will try. Now I am giving you two questions. Try dividing 13 by 4 and 15 by 3 yourself. Use the flowchart of non-restoring method and tell the question and remainder. Next, these are two books which you can refer to study computer organization and architecture. One is Morris Menno, computer system architecture and another one is William Stalling, Computer Organization and Architecture. Thank you. Hope you understood something new after viewing this video.